us an update on what's been happening on the markets. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, today we well, did very well compared to last week, uh, losing just 0.5% uh, of the all share index mm -hmm. as against 0.7% uh, averagely last week. So you saw today 21 stock gaining while mm -hmm. 32 losing a share share price. Well, give or take is, uh, is on a bearish trend, but not as deep as that of last week. Mm. Well, just touching on some of the possible big movers, uh, Guarantee Trust Bank, we know on Friday it uh, rose around 5% after the Nigerian lender was talking about disinvesting all non-banking divisions in compliance with the new regulations that have come through. How did this uh, stock fare today? Well, today the, the, the price wanted to move down, but there was some uh, support level for the stock. So at the close of business, it gained uh, one error. And again, it's a clear indication that uh, investors like the, the, the stock and uh, it's a delight. Bear in mind that uh, at this time, that uh, the new banking regime is coming in place. Mm -hmm. CBN wanting people to divest if they want to, or to use the whole coal option. But having listened to Shego and Baji's interview today, I, it's very clear in my mind that the bank mm -hmm. know what they are doing and uh, they are top on their games. Having uh, taken the option of divesting, it clearly shows that uh, being what may, come what may, they are going to surpass the results they've done before. And if they finally divest through a core investor strategy, it means they will have more money to do more business. And uh, if you ask me, the stock is definitely you know, an investor's delight. Mm, so you're buying GT Bank then at, the, at this point? I'll buy GT Bank <laughs> today or tomorrow going forward. Fantastic. Uh, also just looking at the fact that most of these lenders have around 90 days, and that's of course from October the 4th to comply and to also start preparing uh, their plans. Uh, your view on which bank is going to come to the fore next? I mean, obviously there is a, a, a quite, a, a quite some time for these banks to comply, but at the end of the day, it's also going to be done uh, with the right strategy in mind, surely? Well, the, the, having to tell you the bank that will come next, I may not have that information. But what I can tell you clearly from what we see is that whichever strategy that a bank may want to adopt, it will largely depends on what they have done in the past. Uh, I, I refer to, again, GTB Bank. Mm. Uh, having agreed to come with the divestment strategy, it clearly shows you that they don't have any skeleton in their cupboard and that their books are clean and that uh, some of these subsidiaries that they've been carrying is by and large not adding to the bottom line. So you see a situation where a company that might want to take the whole co action will come on the back of probably they have done some of the writing with some of their subsidiaries and that in itself may not be a good strategy for them to go to the mm. GTB style. Well, Victor, just touching on the inflation rate, because it's at currently at 13.7% year-on-year uh, from 13% uh, uh, in the month of July. We've also got the MPC meeting set to take place in tomorrow's session. The monetary policy rate at 6%, liquidity ratio currently at 25%, and the cash, cash reserve ratio at 1%. Uh, what is your view? Do you think we'll be seeing any kind of movement, given the fact that inflation is starting to tick up? Uh, well, for me, uh, from the analyst uh, viewpoint, I, we are looking forward to a, a regime where the interest rate will be jacked up a little bit so that the pressure on the Naira can drop. As, mm -hmm. we, as we have it today, CBN is not able to match the demand for Naira. So one will expect that, you know, in the days that lies ahead, interest rates should be moved up so that investors on the short end of the market cannot begin to play as they used to. Mm. Oh, well, just touching on the Naira, we, we've also been seeing quite a bit of pressure coming through. How long do you think this is going to uh, take the hold of? I mean, how long do you think this is going to last for? Because at the end of the day, as you mentioned, the gap between demand and supply is relatively wide, but some say it is going to start narrowing down the line. Well, it, I don't see a situation where it will narrow very soon because uh, election is about, uh, it's in the corner mm. and uh, people are not sure what is going to happen at the end of the day. So at the end, uh, what is happening right now is a situation where people want to hold the dollar. Uh, the Naira, as it were, if CBM were actually selling, like uh, from a position of 500 million, they can only supply between 200 and 250 million, which means there's still a huge gap. So. The mm. tendency is that the Naira will continue to depreciate against uh, the dollar. Mm. 
Mm. Well, just looking at those interbank lending rates today, climbing to around 4% on average this week from 1.66% last week, uh, we've been seeing large cash withdrawals coming through by the state en energy company NNPC. Uh, and also that, of course, affecting the liquidity scenario as well. Uh, do you expect a reversal in trend or do you think that this is pretty much what we're going to be seeing for the next uh, few weeks? Well, is, the trend is likely going to continue because, of course, government uh, want more money for its finances. A lot of projects are in place and the cash call, as it were, will continue to continue in the same direction. So I do not see any change happening pretty soon. Mm. Uh, well, Victor, let's just touch on some of the stock picks outside of the banking sector because you're quite bullish about GT Bank. Uh, what other stocks are you looking at right now? Uh, for me, I'm looking at PZ. PZ, uh, as a company, done very well for themselves. Although their turnover has not uh, increased, actually dropped by 20% from, from 80 billion to about 62 billion. But if you look at their bottom line, you will see clearly that they've been able to improve their bottom line by 10%. So if you are looking at the forward EPS of about 1 naira 92 kobo, then is, uh, PZ stock is a good buy any day. Mm -hmm. And it, it, no, the result of the market clearly shows today it gained 69 kobo. Yeah. Uh, just very quickly, uh, Victor, just looking at the overall bourse as a whole, in terms of direction, what are you looking for, given the fact that the banking sector has been one of those sectors that has been dragging the bourse down, now with the new regulations that are set to take place, and of course the AMCON, and of course the initiation of AMCON being relatively imminent, uh, what else sorry, are you looking at again. at this point? Sorry, uh, sorry well, take that question again. Uh, Victor, what are you looking at in terms of market direction, given the fact that the banking sector has been pushing the overall bourse much lower? Uh, the direction of the market is going to be, remain bearish. However, we expect that the level of bearishness will reduce this week. Mm. So for, for us, uh, people are selling down to in compliance to CBN 10% uh, uh, aggregate loan portfolio to the market for 10%. But we hope that uh, it will not be as bearish as it was last week. Because you recall last yeah. week it lost about 3.4%. Uh, 